Welcome once again to VCV Rack Fundamentals. This is part 3, the VCF, the Voltage Controlled Filter. This is the module where we'll remove frequencies to sculpt our sound. Building from the previous patch, I'm going to add a filter. It's one of the fundamental modules, so I'll find it in that same list. Let's take a look at what ins and outs we have on this unit. So starting at the bottom, we have an audio input, and I'm going to patch in a waveform from our oscillator into this input. I'm choosing a sawtooth wave. Our outputs, there are two. One is marked LPF and one HPF. LPF stands for Low Pass Filter. And this filter allows low frequencies to pass through it, cutting out the high. HPF, High Pass Filter. And that does the opposite. That allows the high frequencies through and cuts out the low. So let's take a look and a listen to those two filters at work. You can see on the low pass filter, with the frequency dial set at its maximum, that all frequencies are allowed to pass. And then as we wind the frequency dial down, this is the center point of the adjustment, and you can see that more and more of the high frequencies are removed, and only the low frequencies are allowed to pass through. Let's try that with the high pass filter. This time, with the frequency dial turned all the way to the left, all frequencies can pass, but as we raise the frequency, more and more of those low frequencies are removed and only the higher frequencies remain. We can also increase the resonance of the filter with the resonance control. Resonance is a spike of amplification at the cutoff point which can provide a phasing or squelchy tone. And on this particular filter, there's also drive available, and this is a kind of saturation or distortion to colour the sound. And you can see that it adds amplification and various harmonics to the signal. So there are endless ways we could employ the filter. We could perhaps set and forget the frequency dial when we found a particular timbre that we like, we could manually move the frequency dial to give a phasing shifting sound. We could lower or increase the resonance. Again, we could do this manually or at a fixed position. But equally, using the inputs on the module, you can see frequency, resonance and drive. We can use an external control voltage from any other module to control those parameters and modulate them for us. And we'll be looking at that in more detail in the next video on amplifiers and envelope generators. So for now, why don't you open the example patch, or if you followed along, why not take some time to look at the scope, play with the frequency dial, the resonance, the drive, and just get used to the features, the ins and outs, and patching that across from your oscillator. And I'll see you in the next video as we continue to build our mono synth voice, this time with amplifiers and envelope generators.